All right, check this out, sauerkraut. So in the last video, what we did is we made these functions to essentially remove comments. Uh, we can call this function whenever we need to edit a comment and give it a new text and the array item. So now all we have to do, piece of cake, is whenever we click these buttons, hook them up to these functions. All right, so the buttons were in this comment. So essentially whenever I click uh, save right here, I want to call, whoa, 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 wait a minute. Oh crap, we got a little problem here. So check this out. You see this button right here, all of these buttons, they belong to the comment component. However, the functions that we want to use are in the board component. So how the heck are we supposed to call these functions from an entirely different component? Well, the answer, my friend, is to use properties. Properties? I thought that was for like customizing a component. Well, check this out, it's really cool. Whenever you use properties, what you can do is, instead of just passing numbers and strings to comment, you can actually pass entire functions. So in other words, we can have a property that's equal to this entire function. Pretty sweet, eh? So in the comment, whenever we make one, let's just go ahead and add a new property. And just to show you guys that it's different, um, let's say the first thing we want to do is we want to pass in this function right here. So I'll call a property uh, update comment text. And you can name it whatever you want. And this is going to be equal to this this dot update comment so again later on whenever we run this program comment is now going to have a property called update comment text and this is going to be equal to this function its owners or the board's function pretty sweet eh so now the last thing we have to do is just make it for this comment right here so we can actually delete the comments so I'll just say, um, make a new property called delete from board. And this is going to be equal to this dot remove comment. All right, so whenever we create a comment, what information do we need to give it? We need to give it a key, an index. We're gonna throw it this function and also throw it in this function. And of course the text, so it has some text to display right there. All right, so now that we got that taken care of, let's go ahead and back up to our comment component and hook these up. So we already have event handlers for editing, removing, and saving. Again, edit is whenever you click this, save is whenever you click this, and remove is whenever you click this right here. So we got all the hard work taken care of. And actually, a lot of this stuff we're just gonna keep in. For example, the editing, we're also gonna change that to true, false. We're just gonna um, kind of include two more things. So let me just go ahead and take care of remove first. So in other words, whenever we click the remove button on this comment, then what are we gonna wanna do? Well, we're gonna wanna call this dot props. And remember, we passed in, let me make sure I don't copy this wrong. We passed in a property called delete from board. Now this delete from board is equal to this function right here. So we have to remember whenever we use this property, we also need to pass in the index. I'll show you guys how to do that. So whenever we call this dot props delete from board, we also need to pass in the index of this comment. How do we do that? Well, it's easy. Since we already passed the index in as a property, we call this dot props dot index pretty cool eh? so that is the way that you can pass in an index which is an id number you can pass in a function from the owner or the parent and then it can pass that back up to the parent so there you go and where's my other one edit is it for editing and saving right here so same thing with save and i can probably let me get rid of this and tighten all this up so it's a little bit more compact. All right, so whenever the user leaves a comment like my name is Bucky and they hit save, then what do we wanna do? 
Well, all we want to do is we want to call this dot props, and I forgot the function name already. Update comment text. Now remember, whenever we use this, then it requires the new text and the position in the array. So this dot props, update comment text. Now the new text is equal to val, and actually we don't even need that variable since we're only using it once. So we can actually just use it like that. And the index is this. So this is the new text, and this is the ID of the comment. Boom roasted, there you go. So now I think everything should be working correctly. So let me go ahead and refresh this. And I won't put my logs out because we'll see if it works. All right, so I like bacon. Let me go ahead and change this to my name is Bucky. And hit save and check it out. Pretty sweet, eh? Now if I want to delete want to get ice cream, I hit remove and it deletes it. How stinking awesome is that? So just to kind of recap and give you guys a real quick overview so this kind of sticks in your brain. Whenever you have information and you want to pass them to a child component, you can use properties. Now a property can be something simple, just like a number, as we saw right here, or if you want to take one of these functions and allow the child to use it, you can actually just pass the entire function in as a property. And again, you can name these properties whatever you want. You can name it bacon and it'll work. It really doesn't matter. Now, since you do that, the child will now have access to the parent function via a property. And remember, whenever you use these functions, just make sure to get your parameters correct since they never really auto-populate. So there you go. That is how you pass data to children and how you can also pass data back up to the parent using functions. So now we got everything working beautifully. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go admire this for a second. And in the next video, I'll show you guys how to add new comments. It's actually really simple. So uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I will smell you next time.